Pino's gonna move. Thanks for watching Vampire Survivors Bezic 106 and keep mezzing around. All right, time for some Pepino for like the 10th time because oh boy, has this been a big old curse on my runs. Spinach, Torona's box, empty tome, which does affect it. Crown, Pomerola. Something else, probably. I can't remember, it's been so many rounds. Tragic Princess into Awake into Sarabande. You have to get Empty Tone maxed out high, because there's a Minotaur at 3 that, if I don't have it maxed out, will basically kill me instantly. Tier Jisu, that's the final one. Gotta get as much benefit from, it from Awake as I can get. And I will need Awake to buff me up, because those final waves are very difficult. It's going to take like 15 minutes to slowly root the way over to the wings. And of course, Empty Tome keeps showing up with Crown. That lizard does not guarantee a chest. It is really annoying when it doesn't, because you need as much of a head start as you can get when you're moving this slow. There's the Pumrola I needed. Really, I have to do this with a headset, and yet. Yeah. Alright, there's spinach, almost maxed out. It'll take a, like a whole 40 seconds to get over to those points. And by that time, the Minotaur will start spawning in. Minotaur boss, the one that glows blue. But I have Empty Tome maxed out, which means it'll basically be stunlocked. And then delve it. So, random events bring up the Starburst, which can't be avoided, and also Stalker, which also can't be avoided. So that would just make this make so much longer. Yeah, see, you can watch the Minotaur there get basically stunlocked away from me. I'm not going to go grab the chest, I don't have time. I need to get to wings as soon as possible. And one limit break isn't going to make the difference. Honestly, I might just switch out Pumrola for wings if this one doesn't make it. It's just too slow and Pumrola doesn't help that much. Turnus box, all my passives are done. That's good. I'm still ways off getting that dang wings. It's just another 10 minutes of this slowly going around. That's what you expect when you sign up with the tree, eh? I mean, at the very least I don't have to move on. Wait, no. I already went over this. Gallo Tower is Starburst 2. I will need wings. I have to train out Pomerola for it. It's the least valuable thing here. Increase my damage. Oh, it's so tempting to go back for that chest. But every second is precious here. Gotta hit up that chest. No, I don't. I have to get those wings. Use those to fly over to the vacuum, get all the level ups I've missed out on. Then hit up Can Labrador and hopefully have enough strength to get up to armor. 16 armor at the end. Should just be barely enough to survive without Curse and Sarabande. If I didn't misroll the Sarabande, I might have been able to do it might. Even then, I'm not sure, because it was just the sword dudes. Not even the big robots that took me out. Heck. I didn't even get to the Minotaur boss wave, too. That's how bad it was getting. Oh, the boss mer thing changes color. Isn't consistent. Hmm. <laughs> Things you know when you're going slow, eh?
I could grab that, but it's too much of a risk of getting Max Tarona's box. Slowly closing in, eh? And just watch it be that this is one of the levels I've already beaten and didn't need to do this on. Nope. All good. Dairy Plant Cow Tower. That's Capella Magna and Moon Glow for Trouser. He's home. Yep. That would have totally wiped me out if I had tur still had Curse on. Jeez, just the difference that can be. Random always. The only thing Soul Eater gets from one of the break is Might or Area, which are both great. So no need to specify. No. Area will prevent waves like this from getting close, but Might... Well, Might is Might. Eventually they'll get in anyway. Alright. Straight over to the wind. Wings. Wings affects Twilight Tragic Princess. Yes, yeah, Tragic Princess, because it's Tragic Prince in Castlevania. So, movement speed affects it, so Wings affects it. And that increases damage, and I need every bit of damage I can get to survive those final cool waves. That's why you need Sarabande, because all these little hearts are going to do damage. Or, because they heal you, and they'll do damage. Here's my Arcana bat, but it's up top, so I can't hit it down with me like I could on the last run. Right, I'm gonna trigger this trap, aren't I? Yep. Wave of the Bull Moose. It'll be faster to get the wings, then come back. And save this boss chest until after. And movement speed doubled. Yay! Need to take some damage. Soul Leader gains damage based on what you heal, but not overhealing. So getting hit a bit is helpful. Movement speed up again. And again, I can almost move like a slow normal character. Alright, time to get me some awake. I can still lose the Triton wave. It's still very dangerous. To split. Oh, hey. Red gem filled up with everything. The Triton wave is still pretty dang dangerous. So, I'll probably lose a life there. And I want to get the maximum of benefit of awake I can get. Ooh, mini robots. I should not be running into them like that. Okay, as long as I just slowly zigzag my way around, they'll be fine. Then pick up some healing from them. Actually, this will make me stronger, so it's not bad to do it. No, grab the vacuum for. No, this is as clear as I'm gonna get. I need to get to Candelar to Bird Warrior ASAP so I can get up to armor ASAP too. I'll just heal off of things like that. Good. All got moved into the red jam, so this isn't going to be as big a level up as I was hoping for, but still, it's going to be some. Even out, and then start curving over. Next one down. Yes, looks like it's this one. Oh, purple guys, and the Triton boss. Uh-oh. And that's why I got awake, because I knew this was going to happen. 
Granted, that was more through carelessness because I was thinking of that, looking at the bone shooter. But it was something that was totally within my wheelhouse or plan. Man, it does so much damage. Got more health than average too with this tree. I think that the less enemies without curse, it's meaning I'm getting a lot less levels. I was higher. Not particularly so, but I was. Oh, granted, I could just circle move. Carve out an area instead of trying to force my way through. The axe shielders are less durable. They're still a pain. Nope, oh, boss axe shielder. Like, Triton, I'll remember because, well, it's pretty much exactly what you see on the tin, but like, the axe soldier dudes. Who knows? Who cares? Alright, close to that candelabra door, and that'll be a lot better for offensive prowess. Yep, bah, regular Triton wing. Oh, looks like that boss axe shielder dude didn't drop. Uh oh. Need candelabra door before I can get that chest, so. Oh, that's one more way. I thought I was on it. Okay, good. Without the boss one, I can circle around some more. Uh-oh, medium bots. Along with the big boss bot. Dang it. It's too much. Again, already. Oh, I'm going to go through everything way too early. Okay. Conabad is going to be showing up soon. Okay, Skeleton Wave. Uh, this one is good. It's going to be a lot of XP. And a lot of health back. There's our Conabat. Push it with me. Okay, I can't afford to get to the chest. I have to get the armor ASAP. Only three more revives. This is looking bad. Okay, them getting the edge of it is a lot helpful since I can just run through now. Man, the armor is so far off. I. Eight minutes might not be enough. Gotta keep my eye on that Arcana chest. I don't want to lose it. There it is. There we go. Good. Sarabande on the start. Excellent. That'll massively increase my survivability, my offense. Probably could have won it with Curse with this, but too many losses for me to keep pushing, pushing for failure. Okay, might actually be able to get to the armor, which would be very helpful. But man, they're going through like 8 armor too, so it's so tough. They just do so much damage here. Yep, even these guys are getting taken down and pushed back. Not going to be able to make it to the Silver Ring or the Tractor Orb and Metabio left for sure. Those are way out. It's even a risk. Okay, sword guys. Dang it, they're so durable. Okay. Circle around them, then they're gonna just get wave broken. Then I can push up so close to the armor. Okay, 
26 it's going to switch out for something else. All right, this is a slightly weaker wave. Just might have just enough effort to get through. There's the boss one. Serbane is completely keeping it at bay. Man, they're not going down fast enough. Almost on the armor. That'll be a bit more XP too, because of the guards. Okay, here we go. Get. Good. Now grit some XP. If I can just max out the armor, I might just barely be durable enough to survive this. One egg, or one armor. Any chests nearby? No. Okay, they're getting pushed back by Sarabande very well. Guess without curse, their numbers aren't up to snuff enough to just push in. Yeah, big boss one's back. I'll max out the armor. Okay. Yep, that's not a good noise. Yeah, 12 armor is basically your half invincible mode, eh? But even then, they're doing this much. Thirteen armor, and I still got three more revives. I'm doubtful they'll break through it. Hardy har har. And that's why you need to wake. Don't do a pulse of Sarah bonding when you revive, eh? Wow, they're still gonna take down another life. Huh. Death got pushed back. Well, that's Pepino done on Dairy Plant. For one run. Boy, was it a difficult one. Only 23 million, too. Oh, well. Well, Gale Tower should be slightly easier, since I'll actually have wings from the start. Time for... Time for more Pino. Alright, Gale Tower should be much simpler. Hopefully much simpler. Uh oh Yeah. Okay, and Peppino takes us into... Why did that do that? Well, Peppino takes us into the 140 range. 140 combinations down. I should really math this out more. That would require me to take a moment to stop and think about what I'm doing. Like if you liked, disliked if you didn't, comment if there's any builds you want me to throw up on video, subscribe if you want to support the channel, have a good day, and keep messing around.